Reuse TV. A lot of cars are crashed and totaled in winter, finding their last stop on a car dump. Today we would like to show you how to use parts of a totaled car to build a desk lamp, which can be very useful in the dark winter season. You need a brake drum, two pneumatic springs from a trunk lid, one bigger pneumatic spring from a hood, blinker control that also controls the headlights. In addition to that, you'll need a power converter from 230 to 12 volts, a floor wiper, some cable, a plug, a round headlight, screw nuts, screws and some screwdrivers. Using different cars can be interesting. In our case, the brake drum is out of the Ford Mondeo. The smaller pneumatic springs were supporting a Volkswagen Passat trunk lid. The bigger one is out of a BMW 5 hood. The rubber sleeve was not in the car anymore, but it has a stamp that says Volkswagen on it. The blinker control was found in an old Mazda MX-3 and the round headlight used to be installed in a Volkswagen Polo from the 1980s. Now we can finally put our lamp together, starting with a joint. Now we first take two stop nuts and put them on the top of the screws, almost all the way down, only leaving a bit of a thread to connect to the pneumatic springs. With the stop nuts we can fasten it against the spring. After that, Take two wing nuts and put them on the screws, almost all the way against the spring. Now we can connect the joint with the springs. The brake drum has a gap of about 1 cm in width. Take the rubber from the wiper and glue it in the gap, so your lamp will get a good stand and won't scratch your table. Leave a small gap for the cable. Stick the two extension threads on the back of the springs through the holes in the brake drum and fasten them to it using screws and, if necessary, a couple of washers. Fasten the long spring to the joint and the headlight to the spring. Use a plastic washer here, so the head will be able to turn. Connect the switch with the lamp and make sure the rubber sleeve can't fall off. Lead the cable down to the brake drum using cable straps and connect it to the power converter. Make sure to leave enough cable to the corner so it doesn't bother you when you want to adjust the lamp. To adjust your lamp, you now only have to open the wing nuts. The head should be able to turn in two directions. If your headlight doesn't have a hole for a parking light like ours, it might be necessary to drill one in because the lamp will get warm and needs some cooling. Hide the converter in the brake drum and you're done. That's how useful a total car can be. So time to get going and make your own. Reuse it. <laughs>